come with me on a journey underwater to see a world of colossal creatures, real life Loch Ness monsters. Tonight, I would like to tell you the story, a story of a 10 year uh, scientific adventure to six continents on the search to find, study, and protect the world's largest freshwater fish. Strangely enough, this is what uh, my world looked like when I was growing up. I asked my mom to find some photos of me uh, fishing or doing something with fish, and this is what she sent me. <laughs> this was my childhood. Luckily, not every place in Arizona is as dry as the area where I grew up. This is Havasu Creek, a tributary of the Colorado. It flows into the Grand Canyon. And I, as an undergraduate at the University of Arizona, my job as part of this larger team was to do surveys, fish surveys, of the tributaries that flow into the Colorado. Now, that's when I really fell in love with water and learned to uh, sympathize more with, with fish. So on the Colorado, I learned about endangered species issues. And most of the native fish of the Colorado that live in the Grand Canyon are endangered. Uh, one of the reasons these fish are endangered are because of all the dams that have been built on the Colorado. And those dams have completely changed the Colorado River. And I also learned about large-scale restoration projects. At that time, I don't know uh, if anyone has been watching the news, but they were doing what they call controlled floods, releasing huge pulses of water down the Colorado to try to mimic uh, the natural cycle, the natural seasonal cycle of the river. And I learned how difficult it is to restore a habitat that's been modified as heavily as a place like the Colorado. So I, uh, after I graduated from the University of Arizona, I took that knowledge and applied for a Fulbright scholarship to Thailand and spent a year in Thailand applying those same lessons to fish in the Mekong. The Mekong is actually home to the largest inland fishery in the world. Over two million tons of fish come from the Mekong every year. In Thailand, I saw this 3,000-year-old cave painting. I don't know if anyone can recognize what's on the top there, but giant catfish. 3,000 years ago, people were painting giant catfish in Thailand. It shows you how important these fish were. I mean, they paint themselves, and then the next thing they can think of to paint is these big catfish. They, they must have been important. As it turns out, the Mekong has more species of giant fish than any river in the world. And it has species like the giant carp, a 600 pound goldfish. Uh, the goonch catfish, you know, such a strange looking catfish, the little beady cat's eyes and nail like teeth. And I heard stories of stingray, giant, powerful stingray, reported to grow up to 1,000 pounds. And then things really took a turn when this fish was caught. This is a 646 pound Mekong giant catfish. And it was caught in northern Thailand in 2005. The fishermen here have been recording their catches since 1980. And it turns out that this was the largest freshwater, the largest giant catfish that they had ever caught. Some people thought that this might be the largest freshwater fish in the world. So after this news went out, I was waiting to hear back from people from different, from the Amazon, from Australia, from different places with reports of larger fish. But I, I, didn't, I didn't hear anything. We don't know what the world's largest freshwater fish is. One guy did get back to me. He said he caught a bigger fish than I did. And this, <laughs> it's an important lesson because fishermen, you gotta, be, you gotta watch out for fishermen. <laughs> Because of stuff like this, because Photoshop's pretty easy these days, uh, that actually makes the project more complicated. Because if you go online or you start looking at pictures or you start trying to get information, there are some, some people that exaggerate out there. This is a photo, and it's labeled Naga of the Mekong, Laos 1973. When I was doing my first start of my research, you see this photo everywhere in Southeast Asia. And the Naga is a 
is a mythical creature in Southeast Asia, like the Loch Ness Monster, that you see depicted on, at, on temples. But as it turns out, this photo was taken in San Diego in 1991. And somebody took the photo and, re and repurposed it and took it over to Asia and sold it to everyone over there. And so now people think that this is a fish, a freshwater fish, that lives in the Mekong. It's actually, I don't know if anyone recognizes it, it's an oar fish. It's a marine fish that washed up on the beach in San Diego. And these are some uh, military guys who found the fish washed up, and they're holding it up for the camera.